There is a famous paranormal story from West Virginia that involves a woman by the name of Mamie Thurman, who, on June the 21st, 1932, was last seen around 9pm in a blue polka dot dress walking near a theatre in Logan. That was the last time Mamie Thurman was seen alive, and a short time later, she was murdered and her body dumped on 22 Mine Road, Logan, a distance of approximately 11 miles. Logan is a city in Logan County, in the west of West Virginia. Unfortunately, the case of Mamie Thurman was never solved, and the killer was never found. However, it appears that the troubled spirit of Mamie Thurman has not passed on. At night, whilst driving up the mountain, drivers have claimed to have seen a woman walking up and down the road, asking for a ride before vanishing. Other witnesses claim to have seen a ghostly feminine figure in a bloodstained blue polka dot dress, restlessly wandering the hillside where a body was found, crying where her spirit was not able to rest as she seeks justice for her murder. Truck drivers hauling coal along the old road stopped to pick up a dark-haired woman in a cotton dress and offered her a ride, only to find that she suddenly vanished when they reached the bottom of the mountain. Other drivers reported that when they pulled the car over by the side of the bridge, handprints suddenly appeared on the back of their windscreen. To dig deeper into this paranormal story, we need to go back to when Mamie Thurman was still alive. In the early 1930s, Mamie was a housewife who lived in Logan with her husband, Jack Thurman, who was a police officer. In 1924, the couple had moved to Logan from their hometown in Louisville, Kentucky, where the couple had rented a small two-room apartment that was above a garage. The apartment and garage were situated in the backyard of a home belonging to Harry and Louise Robertson. Harry Robinson worked for the National Bank of Logan and also served as a treasurer at the Logan Public Library. Louise Robertson was treasurer of the Logan Women's Club and both were regular attendees at the local church. Many people had different opinions about Mamie Thurman, with some claim that she'd been a good housewife who worked as a volunteer at the local Nightbird Memorial United Methodist Church at the intersection of Cole and White Street in downtown Logan. But there were some residents of the town that had different opinions about Mamie and that she was a married woman that liked to live fast and loose. In a small town like Logan, this sort of negative news had spread fast and word would soon spread. On June 22, 1932, 32-year-old Garland Davis was picking berries near the top of Trace Mountain when he stumbled across an horrendous sight. It was the body of a young woman who appears to have been stabbed in shot before being thrown into a ditch. The police were immediately notified and the deceased woman was identified as Mamie Thurman. It did not take long for names to come forward and the two main suspects were Harry Robertson and his handyman, 29-year-old Clarence Stevenson, who boarded with the Robinsons in the attic. While the funeral of Mamie Thurman was being held, Robertson's house was being searched by state police. Police found an indentation mark in the wall in the basement and suspected that it was a bullet hole. They then found bloodstains on both the razor and carpet, and bloodstains were also found on the seat in the window of the Ford sedan, owned by Robertson. On the evening of June the 22nd, 1932, at around 8.30pm, Harry Robinson and his handyman Clarence Emerson were both arrested and taken into custody at the Logan County Jail and questioned. Clarence Stevenson lived in the attic at the home of Harry and Louise Robertson and had never been married. Clarence did many odd jobs for the Robertson family, but his main duty was to feed and care for the family dogs. Other than bank worker and treasurer, Harry Robinson was also a prominent sportsman, and this supposedly upstanding citizen of the community admitted to having had a two-year affair with Mamie Thurman. It was claimed that their adulterous liaisons were organised by his worker Clarence who would fake their hunting trips together where Clarence would then drop him off at certain locations in order to meet up with Mamie. With all of this evidence found in the basement of the home of the Robertsons and for some unknown reason, Harry Robinson was never indicted by the grand jury but his worker Clarence Stevenson was indicted and stood trial for the murder of Mamie Thurman. They found him guilty and he was sent to Moundsville Prison a West Virginia penitentiary. Clarence Stevenson continued to state that he was innocent and the fact that Harry Robinson was white and he was black would not have helped his case in West Virginia in 1932. 
he was later transferred to Huttonsville Prison Farm in June of 1939 and died of stomach cancer in 1942. Norman Sloan was a Logan County resident who spent time in jail with Stevenson. Sloan claimed that Clarence Stevenson told him in jail that he was hired to take the body to 22 Mountain, but he didn't do anything to Mamie Thurman. He never said who killed her, but he said he did not do it. However, over the years, people have many theories about who the killers were. One theory is that more than one person was involved in murdering her and the disposal of the body, and the finger could point to his wife, Louise Robinson, and Clarence Stevenson. Louise Robinson possibly found out about the affair and had no doubt reached the point where she couldn't take it anymore and decided to take matters into her own hands and with the help of Clarence, killed Mamie Thurman before disposing of her body. She would have needed the assistance of Clarence to carry the body and then dump it on the side of the road. It has now been over 90 years since her death and it is still an unsolved mystery. 